There you go. 100% SEO score for the key phrase best WordPress teams. Awesome, isn't it? But will it land my site on a first Google page? Most likely not. Will it land in my site on the last page of the Google search? Also most likely not. And probably I'm not going to be on any of those Google search results. Why? Well, in this video I'm going to show you why this SEO score doesn't mean anything and why you should not obsess about it. So, if you're interested, then jump in. Now, first thing first. On my demo site I'm using an SEO plugin called Rank Math SEO that allows me to see the SEO score for this page. If I open it up, it will show you what should be done differently and what is done well. And all together, it will give you a score like this one here. There are a bunch of other plugins that do the same thing. For example, there is all-in-one SEO plugin that will give you the score. And now pay attention. All the pages I'm going to show you right now, they contain the same content with the same images and same text. This one here, this one here. And as you see, Rank Maths gives 100%. All in one SEO gives me 92%. But there is also a third plugin called Yoast SEO. And Yoast does it, it a bit differently. It will show you with the different colors what is what here. What is good and what should be improved. And there is also a plugin called SEO Press. This one sits down below here and displays you with the different colors what is what. They all do the same thing, and based on the optimizations you have done on this page, they will give you a score. Now, in this video, I'm gonna use a rank math as an example. So, 100% score, but this one doesn't matter because I will not get any results, and I'm gonna explain why. So let's add a new page, and let's start with a title Best WordPress Teams. Now, I'm gonna open up my rank math and add it as a focus keyword and out of the box I'm gonna get 39% without any text. Now let's add this keyword to the first paragraph and now I'm gonna add a bunch of gibberish here. Just a regular lorem ipsum text, couple of thousand words, add this one here and what do you know, already 59%. And now let's follow the suggestion the SEO plugin gives me. As you see, use keyword in the URL. Well, I'm going to publish it. And this problem is gone. Additional errors. There is no subheadings H2, H3 or H4 with a keyword. Well, let's add it then. I'm going to add a bunch of H2 headings here. Just randomly to demonstrate what will happen. Already 70%. Next one, add an image with a focus keyword. No worries. I'm gonna add a random image here. For example, this one or this one. I'm gonna add a alt text and title and fixed. Keyword density is 0.35%, which is low. Well, no problems also with that. I'm gonna add randomly all those keywords here. At the moment you watch me and you think there is no point whatsoever what I'm doing and you're correct but I'm doing it because I want to demonstrate that this score doesn't mean anything here and I already have 80% since I'm a bit lazy let's add some keywords here and now the keyword density is 1% which is good. Next, no outbound links were found. I'm going to fix this with linking to the random site. And this time I'm going to link to the Google. I'm going to update and done. External links are added. Next, it says that I have already used this keyword. Well, this is not good. Therefore, I'm going to open up my previous page. The one I demonstrated before. I'm going to delete this one here. Update back to my this page, update this one here, and it fixed. Well, what errors do we have here? Use content AI to optimize the page. No worries, I'm gonna open it up. Research back here. As you see, I didn't do anything, but it gave me additional four points. 
Title readability. Your SEO title doesn't contain a number. Well, well, well. What should I do? I'm gonna fix it. So, best WordPress teams, and let's add a random number and some text. Also, let's add this one here and some gibberish. Altogether, 146 characters. Let's close it down. And Yahoo, this is fixed. As you see, everything seems cool, but your content contains images and videos. I have only one image, therefore, it suggests that I should add some more. No problems. I'm gonna duplicate the same image a couple of times. Amazing, 100% is here. Done. And as you saw, everything I did right now, it doesn't make any sense. I'm sure you agree with it. And this is the main reason I'm saying that you don't have to obsess about this score here. This is a just your helper tool that will give you some hints about what should be done on your site. If your content is weak, then there will be no result. For example, Google knows that this is total rubbish and there is no point for it to display on the search results. But now a couple of other examples for you. Take a look at this one here. WooCommerce sale batch percentage is a keyword I'm using. And as you see, my site occupies the first position in the Google search result. The same goes with the keyword delete WooCommerce products with images. Now it's here on the third position. This one here. But if I open this post, how to display the discount percentage on the sale batch, RankMath gives me only 12% and it's because I didn't use it. I didn't add a title here, I didn't add a focus keyword, nothing is added here. Nevertheless, it's on the first page, even though it contains only 456 words. This post here is on the third position with 181 words. And once again, RankMath gives me only 12 points for it. But what is the reason for these good results is because I found the keywords that are not covered by the other sites. I created a post, added the relevant content, and boom, those are the results. So once again, don't obsess about these scores. Use it as a helper tool and nothing else. Just concentrate on the good content and you will see the results. Now, before you go, wait. If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here. And take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.